I found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. Nothing but concrete rubble and twisted steel. Fucking spooky knowing this is where all these people bought it. Aren't they supposed to be rebuilding? Nothing's been done. Said Albion sniffing around like dogs for a bone. Something's dodgy. Might be onto something there. What am I on the lookout for, Bags? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. Welcome back to the upload.
the fuck? This is it. The signal is coming from this spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. How the hell did it end up here? And in this mangled state? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Perfect. Two more data relays to go. One more 
data relay and I'll have it. to do it. Now I'll just take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Acknowledged. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back for you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Kelly dog? Oh, fuck. Clan Kelly was in on the bombings. This is huge. This was just a delivery. Clan Kelly probably made a mint supply in the bombs. Oh, shit, the woman they met with. I'll bet she's part of Zero Day. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bax, only chance of running a ping back to whoever was operating the bot. I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Fuck me. The man had eyes on this while it went down. That's heavy. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Oh, great. 
Has the Pentagon released its quantum tunneling tech yet? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but Spiderbots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Solid plan. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Acknowledged. RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day written all over it, yeah? Damn, hurry. We've got all the deliveries. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Shut it, we're all on need to know. Zero Day had multiple crews coordinating this. Three-dimensional chess, man. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the spider bot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. They knew it was behind the bombings months ago. It's a fucking conspiracy, and the filth is in on it. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. This is fucked. Albion is running the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. Great. Not a fan of the Met, but I'll take Bobby's over jackboots any day. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. You think of arms, thinking Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Must be a way to ID the last user. Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I got this. <laughs> that opening right there looks like a good exit point. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That 
That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. Buggery fuck, would you look at all this junk? You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening. wrong with Scotland Yard. Who decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs? Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? So don't tell me Albion has our best interests at heart. Sod that. If the police could handle their job, Albion wouldn't be necessary. But they can't. Home bombing is a perfect example. Bunch of lazy overpaid cops for sleeping in the hall. Well, they're not a queen.
I'll have it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. This fucking rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pings these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's definitely out of the way. Perfect spot to do some off the book shit. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Thanks. Little help here. How do I get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Well, fuck. We've got ourselves a rogue cop shop. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Enough to follow a lead all the way to the tome bombing. What do you think, Bagley? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's coup. The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I?
Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Fuck. Albion have thrown in with the Kellys, waiting on the bloody lizard people to join the conspiracy. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Well, I'm not sitting on my ass while they go on abducting people off the street. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Like Sirs is watching. You want to get off your feet? 